The brown recluse spider has a distinct appearance and venom that makes it one of the more dangerous spiders in the world. Hey, little buddy. It's much easier seeing it in a picture rather than in your bed or in your yeah. house. Yeah. You really don't want to cross paths with these guys, but unfortunately, recording artist and the voice finalist, Megan Lindsay, did. Hey, I'm Megan Lindsay, and you might know me as season eight runner up of The Voice. After I got off The Voice, this part of my face right here started to basically just die. It was about eight in the morning, I woke up and I had a really intense stinging feeling. I looked over in my right hand, I saw a spider and it was dying. It wasn't brown recluse. That night, the stinging just kept getting more and more intense. That's when I got up and went to the emergency room. The doctors couldn't tell me whether it was gonna get worse or not. They just said everybody reacts differently. Each day it started getting worse. I had a full body rash, a welt on my throat, shooting pains in my shoulder blades, shooting pains in my face, like nerve pain. So about day seven, this spot started to get darker and darker to the point where it was like a black patch on my face. My doctor confirmed that I had necrosis. finally found a specialist. She put me immediately into a hyperbaric chamber. After a few treatments, it was finally starting to get under control. This whole experience obviously was very challenging, but I think in the end of the day, it really helped me to connect to a lot of awesome people and find my peace. It's like just living in the moment and taking each thing as it comes. And singer Megan Lindsay joins us now. Megan, <laughs> how are you? I know, I know you've been through a long recovery, yeah. and you, you look great. Thank you. You really do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Thank you. It's been crazy. Well, for us docs, this is a favorite question on our board exams, right? Just our general exams yeah. about brown recluse spider, and there's a reason, and unfortunately you went through it. These, these spiders, when they bite you, they have a particular venom that contains enzymes mm. that is actually cytotoxic. What does that mean? It actually kills those cells in your skin, causing necrosis. Necrosis is a scary word, but that means that your skin is dying. And you showed the early signs. First, it was a little dusky gray, then it progressively darkened, and you had basically a full thickness skin loss. And there's well, no antidote to it. Well, no, that's, I, no and, and I do want to get though to, one of the things you did do is you did hyperbaric oxygen did, as you were yeah. healing. That is huge. And I yeah. had the, was able to examine Megan and you're doing fantastic Thank without you. having to do any yeah. surgery. And I that's think, amazing. I think that HBO that you did hyperbaric is a key why you you yeah. did so well and healed so well. And you know, you're seeing there that yeah. characteristic fiddle on the back of mm -hmm. the brown recluse spider um, with the handle of the fiddle to pointing towards the abdomen. If you see this spider, it's, it's actually pretty recognizable. Six, six eyes. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanna get back to one thing which is important because unfortunately, you can't always look. Yes, you can have pest control and all these mm -hmm. things, but brown recluse spiders, they love dark, places they, but when you're I'm, I'm curious when you go to bed at night now I heard you're, you're having some trouble right because mm -hmm. you're in bed yeah. and last time you're hanging out in the morning this happens are you having issues with sleep I hadn't until about the last month I've had these things where I wake up and I'm like in a panic and yelling and my boyfriend's like, what's wrong with you? Um, but yeah, I, I'm slapping my face, thinking there's something on it. It's just like, I've had some night terror type things going on in the last month. How long ago did this happen to you? When was the spider bite? It happened in February. So okay, so February, so it's, it's, it's been a few months, but mm -hmm. this is very common that you would actually start to show one of the more common symptoms of some post-trauma stress, yeah. which is night terrors, which is difficulty sleeping, because you're a little bit more hyper aware of your surroundings right now. Well, yeah. And now that you're past the, the main issue, that's sort of when you start to process the emotional repercussions, which mm -hmm. is the fear that's built up about this whole situation. And it's coming out more at a time when you feel most vulnerable, which for most people is when they're going to sleep, feel a little bit more vulnerable, right? And so I think that's what you're responding to and, and it's a very typical response. And so the things that you can do to help yourself, you know, to try to make going to bed as relaxing as possible, try to do some deep breaths, do something relaxing, read a book, take a bath, like just make that time a little bit more restful for you even before going in.